So when I first moved to China 15 years ago to teach kids, I thought it was going to be lesson plans and classrooms, steady paycheck, but it really turned out to be much more than that, and it's changed my life. And today, I want to share that with you. So before I moved abroad, you know, I was just kind of going through the motions, you know, going to work and just doing all these things, but not really being aware, you know, like kind of just, just living, but not really living, if you know what I mean. But um, some of the things that's happened to me here in China, for example, my job even working in, you know, in education, especially teaching the kids, it's really changed me a lot. I've developed a lot of patience, a lot of compassion for, for people, just for human beings, which I didn't really feel that way before. And so it's really taught me a lot about myself. And I've really changed a lot, you know, before I came here. And even when I first arrived here in China, I was very aggressive and fast paced. And just everything was like, go, go, go. I mean, but I've learned to, to slow down, to relax, to just kind of be in the moment and really enjoy life, but, but be aware at the same time, like actually be aware of what's really happening, what I'm really enjoying. And so those things have really, it just made me feel much different. Is this real life? Yep. So another thing that was really unexpected were some of the, the friendships and things like that I've made. Like I've met people from all over the world and some of these people that, you know, I'll be friends with probably forever, like lifelong friends, both with other foreigners here and Chinese people as well. And just the, the different, it's just totally different. The, the mindset of the type of people you come across and meet, whether they be for other foreigners or Chinese people who are, you know, living abroad, you just really, uh, just really develop these different types of friendships than what you have there uh, like where you're surrounded with every day there like there in America for example you have some friends there too who I was close friends with but it's just different and I'm just so grateful to have this chance and this opportunity to experience life in a different way that most people don't get to experience and as far as the kids go teaching the kids it's kind of you know, 15 years around little kids, like primary school kids, like kindergarten to like grade five or six, you know, 12 years old or so like that or under. It's been most of my specialty, what I'm good at. And being around these kids and seeing their, uh, their innocence and also how they uh, show their love and care, it just really makes me feel young myself. And I just realized that like, you know, even though I'm getting older, I can still have fun and do fun things that, that kids do or that kids like to do. And that kind of helps me stay young and stay, you know, just have more fun in life and enjoy the things in life more than just being so serious all the time. So another thing I've learned is that no matter where you go, because I've been all over the world, I realize people really aren't that different. I mean, yeah, we have different cultures or different religions and this kind of thing. But at the end of the day, we're all still the same. We all do the same things. 
We all, you know, have friends. We all have family. We all really enjoy the same type of thing. So we enjoy, uh, you know, doing nothing, watching the internet, going to the movie, go for a walk, you know, go to the gym, whatever, you know, whatever your thing is. There are people all over the world who are doing those things and who love those things. So at the end of the day, we are really all, all the same. We're not that different. Like people seem to think we are. Another thing is, you know, people in a lot of places, they tend to be a little bit more minimalistic or simplistic. And I don't mean that in a bad way. There's actually a beauty to that. You don't always have to have a lot of stuff or a lot of really nice stuff to, to feel good or to feel happy. At the end of the day, you know, I've seen people who live dirt poor with no electricity, no water, no nothing. But some of those people are happier than people I've seen who live in big mansions and have fancy cars and all this stuff. You really don't need those things to be happy. And it's taught me to, to start to be more minimalistic in my ways and just enjoy the things that I have and enjoy the relationships and the friendships and even the small things that I have. And I can do that without trying to consume a bunch of fancy new stuff. And I'm starting to take that approach more to life now. And I'm also starting to try to become more minimalistic in my ways and be more aware of the things that I actually consume. And that's one of the things that I've learned from, from being here. Watch this video right here if you want to see more. I got to go teach these kids. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.